Tiana. Hey, you know what time it is? What time is it, man? The beat. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of The Beatdown, the segment where two worlds collide. I'm your host, Class, and my co-host, Mr. J. And we would like to remind you guys that if you enjoy these videos and this content, go to the section below, share, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, yeah. And without further ado, not too long ago, there was a movie that came out, Spider-Man's uh, No Way Home. And let me tell you, yeah, no way home. That, that movie was tight. Great movie. Like, one of the best Spider-Man movies I've seen in a long time. Like, the other, the other two movies that he made, I like this one the best. With uh, Tom Holland. The, I think that's the general consensus right now. Yeah. We figured we'd do a, a Spider-Man episode, since we haven't done that in a minute. And, uh, you know, we've been waiting, and now we got a chance to do it. And we figured, why not do Insect versus Insect? Okay. Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Man. We have covered Spider-Man in the, in the past. I mean, I'm pretty sure that my, you know, my boy here, you know, gave you guys the, the general consent of, you know, of what he can do and, and what he's all about. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, uh, I'll try to run through it kind of quickly. Peter Parker has the ability of pretty much has all the powers or most of them anyway of a, of a spider. He was bitten on the hand, as you know, by a radioactive spider, which gave him the abilities to shoot webs out of his hands. Um, that a little bit is a little inconsistent. And there's been times where he can do it just out of his body, and then there's times where he needs the, the web shooters. Now, pretty much what that is, is a little small gadget that he wears on his wrist, and it has these little containers of web fluid that he pretty much made himself. Another thing about Peter is he's extremely smart and he's very intelligent. Now, with these web shooters, he, like I said, he can shoot the fluid out and they, they rotate so that he doesn't exactly need to exchange them, but they kind of exchange on their own. Uh, the only time he really needs to mess with them is when they all run out. Uh, another ability he has, as you know, is he can crawl on walls and all wall crawling thing. Um, <laughs> His most interesting power, though, I want to say is the spider sense. Oh, yeah, definitely. Is, yeah, now what that is, is it gives him, it kind of slows down time a little bit for him. It gives him complete knowledge of his surroundings. Like, a complete, he knows where everything is. That's why he's able to swing around and not really look at where he's shooting his webs. Now, I don't know. A whole lot about the blue beetle but i do know that his powers and his abilities stem from the scarab which is it's, it's like some ancient or alien yeah thing, right yeah that it attaches into your skin and then it yeah makes you a suit and all that it's crazy <laughs> now the the suit and and his abilities on on their own they are extremely impressive i will give him that however they do stem like his powers do stem from the, the scare so it, yeah it, in my head it, it's a device i guess i don't, I don't know how to classify it or, or what to call it's, it i mean yeah you're right it is a device it's like a an alien high-tech backpack device like like you know what i mean it's 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 through technology the, the reason he has these abilities and the reason he can do these things which yeah. Spider-Man, it's you know, it's a little bit more natural. So that's one advantage that I feel Spider-Man has is his or his abilities are more more natural, are due to rid of his mutation rather than it being a device or something like that. Now, yeah, the, the one device he has, like I mentioned earlier, is the, the web shooters. But even without the web shooters, honestly, I feel like Spider-Man can pull this off. Spider-Man can run up to two hundred miles per hour, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, and he can lift up to ten tons. He can knock a dinosaur out, a fully grown dinosaur out, with a single punch. Damn. That's 
and with that speed and that strength, I want to say it would really not be too difficult to rip the scarab off this kid's back. Now, another thing is uh, the young man who is the Blue Beetle, his alter ego, isn't he? Like, Jaime or something like that? He's, yeah, his name is Jaime. Yeah, he's right. a Hispanic guy. He's, he's 17. Now, I understand that Spider-Man himself is, <laughs> is young too, um, but... I want to say he's a little older, therefore he'll have a little bit more experience and maturity. So, honestly, Spider-Man for the win. I really think all he's going to need to do is get in close and rip that scarab off. And and as soon as he rips it off his back, you know, he's really not going to have much of a chance. Because when it's removed, it leaves him in a weakened condition. Now, being in a weakened condition against Spider-Man, no, it's, it's not happening. I understand that uh you know this suit gives him a lot of abilities uh, the blue beetle it does gives him a lot of abilities uh, a lot of weaponry that he can kind of just summon off of hand but if spider-man's able to just be a little bit more fast get around him and once he figures it out like i said spider-man is extremely intelligent once he figures it out that his powers and his abilities and all that danger is stemming from an area he's like oh okay cool let's remove that and he's, he's not gonna he's not, he made his own fighting style he doesn't you know other people they do like a fighting style like oh you know this guy's a boxer this guy's a kickboxer this guy's a wrestler yeah. no he made his own and it pretty much was it that <laughs> take two what it does is it takes full advantage of the spider sense yeah, it does. I mean, Shang Chi was his master. He taught him how to how to use his spider abilities to do a, a form of a unique martial arts where only Spider Man can adapt to it, which is pretty damn impressive. That's cool. Shang Chi is an extremely talented martial artist. I just, how is he going to teach him about his spider abilities? He no, he. Cool yeah, no. Shang Chi <laughs> was the reason why Spider Man learned I, I, to craft his uh, martial arts skills. It's because he taught him I, how to use his ability. I just <laughs> bust your chops. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean honestly, I how dare I mean, you, sir? <laughs> I didn't really know that. So, you know, <laughs> Spider-Man being trained by Shang Chi and makes him better fighter. So, oh yeah. Like I said, um, getting close, rip the scarab off. You guys already know that. Like one of my big defenses in these debates is I'm a big fan of you know. Well, there's something that makes you special like a gadget or something an artifact something that's unique and these are what give you these abilities well just click it away you know? yeah. so that's my uh that's my main defense <laughs> well, I'll, I'll open the floor up to my boy okay okay and i'm representing dc comics blue beetle As your profile expands, do you worry about increased scrutiny? Nah, I welcome it. All right, guys. Sit back and enjoy the ride. So, a couple things about Blue Beetle. Um, He's been switched around like three different comics. Like he was in one uh, first before he was in Charleston Comics. He was in another comics, and then he finally got to DC. And the storyline between Blue Beetle's like abilities has changed over the years. But let's just stick to the Jaime's, you know, DC comic version of his he abilities. He has like, he has, the, they have like a Green Lantern similarity and where if one is injured to where he can't do his job or he's killed, then the scarab goes to another person. Yeah, exactly. So here's the crazy thing about the scarab. The scarab is um, hands down probably the ultimate tool. Uh it's probably to go mano and mano. It needs to go mano and mano with like Iron Man suit, okay? But it probably would lose against Iron Man because Iron Man has five bigger guys, and uh, you know that's just a real good point. But as far as Blue Beetle, Blue Beetle being younger, I don't think it's going to have any issue with this because the alien technology is the thing that controls pretty much his ability to handle any kind of weaponry or use anything. So 
the, 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 scarab, the scarab can take control, but he does have primary control. That, yeah, he usually has primary be. control, but as far as like activating a weapon and stuff, he has no control over that whatsoever. Like the scarab, if it if it feels like it's being danger or harmed, it will defend itself without ha even asking its like controller, which is Hymen. And it has a mind of its own in its own essence because they're two minds linked together. Uh, which means that they work together kind of co co in hand here. And then it's like Venom and Brock, they're kind of codependent on each other. Oh, um, so I shouldn't have used regular Spider-Man. I should have used Symbiote Spider-Man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that would have been cooler. Um, so, oh, Symbiote Spider-Man would have been dope. Oh, that would have been so cool. If I like that, that would have been really cool. Okay, get back to it. Uh, <laughs> so Blue Beetle has a lot of abilities. Let's start off with defense. Uh, he has the ultimate defense, the force field. Force field's gonna come in handy. Spider-Man can throw a lot of things at him, but the force field is a very strong and durable force field. It's not gonna be easy to penetrate, which gives Blue Beetle a lot of wiggle room to work with. Now, another thing about the Blue Beetle suit is that it, it is able to, it's called agnostic, hold on, what's it called? Antagonist adaptation, which means that it can learn opponent's moves, technique, style, and everything in between. And it can learn how to find out your weaknesses and everything else. So with the vast alien technology, along with the fact that it has knowledge on Earth, it can learn about Spider-Man's weaknesses, it can learn about Spider-Man's abilities, it can learn about Spider-Man's come to be and who the hell he is, pretty much, if he wanted to. Uh, let's see. Another thing is, is that the suit can shift into any weapon that Jaime can think of. That means it can turn into a battle axe. It can turn into a cannon blaster. It can turn into a sword. It can turn into anything you think spikes. So in that situation, that's a pretty difficult situation to be in because Spider-Man uses his web as pretty much a way to get around certain particular people so he can kind of give himself some breathing room. But if Blue Beetle has his weapon around, all he has to do is cut the wiring right off of Spider-Man's web, which means Spider-Man has to keep reacting to it at a moment's notice while Blue Beetle is just cutting through. Now, Blue Beetle can also fly. So flying and web shooting is going to be a difficult task. So Spider-Man is going to have to rely solely on the walls in the buildings. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Blue Beetle, all he has to do is find two directions. One, Spider-Man, if he wants to really take down his opponent, he's going to go after his opponent. If Blue Beetle decides to kind of flee for a moment and Spider-Man decides to do a little web shooting and get onto his leg, that's going to be his downfall. Because whether he takes him for the ride or he gets him himself and, br and brings him to his area, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, an environment that is too hot, an environment that's too cold, Spider-Man cannot handle. He can adapt to an environment, but Blue Beetle suit can't. It can adapt to a hot condition, it can adapt to a cold condition, it can adapt to all forms of conditions. So either way Blue Beetle goes about this, he'll be able to have the advantage if he takes Spider-Man out of New York and takes him to a much more colder environment, much more hotter environment where Spider-Man has to endure the heat or endure the blizzarding cold, while Blue Beetle is sitting pretty just going, hey man, this don't bother me, my, my temperature is fine. So, Blue Beetle wise, he has the ability to adapt to an environment. He has the ability to find your opponent's weakness. He has the ability to shift his uh, weapon into anything. Now, another thing you can add is the fact that his armor can shoot out like six or seven, eight different legs. Um, now, if you remember, Spider-Man has gone against a character with a, uh, with a similar amount of legs. We call him Dr. Octavius. And in some situations, Spider-Man has lost to him. He's had him grabbed onto his wrists and everything, like holding on to him. Now, Spider-Man's spider senses can do a lot, but when you're going from all different angles with different legs and arms, weapons coming at you, it's not you're not going to be that fast enough. Especially when we're talking robotics versus spider senses. At that moment, I gotta think that the speed of the robotics is going to more adapt more into finding the penetration of weaknesses than Spider-Man's sense is going to be able to dodge. It. So it will cut some wounds as he'll leave him bruised up. He will leave him wounded. There's no way Spider-Man will be able to just walk away with that. Now, healing factor wise, Jaime also has healing factor. Now, his is actually much more faster than Spider-Man's. Spider-Man needs some time to recover. So in a fight, he's gonna need some breathing room. But if Jaime doesn't give him any breathing room and decides to go right at him with all the weapons he's got, along with his uh, cybernetic uh, advanced technology that can learn how to take a weakness and, and use it to his advantage, along with being able to adapt to an environment, along with all those things that you can add into the mix. Uh, yeah, it's going to be hard. To, it would be hard for Spider-Man to go against this character because 
let's think of let, let me put a couple of the list of characters that Blue Beetle has fought. He he got thrown, he threw down with Lobo. Okay? Lobo is no joke. Now he didn't do throw down with him alone, but he threw down with him. Okay? He got you know, it ain't easy to get a beating from Lobo. Lobo usually beats on, I don't know, people like Superman. Okay? And he's not the type of guy you can really just uh, say, oh yeah, I took a little, little little hit in the chin, and that's it. No, you took a beating and you let survive. His suit can fall down from orbit, okay? All the way from the orbit, all the way down to Earth, and still with not a scratch on it. He has fought the one of the top dogs when it comes to Green Lanterns. A Green Lantern that's able to fight against five or six different Green Lanterns. He fought that guy toe-to-toe, mano y mano. He fought Yellow Lanterns. He has done a lot, okay? So given Blue Beetle's advanced suit, advanced weaponry, and the fact that his his ability to adapt to an environment is much more easier than Spider-Man can, I have to say that Blue Beetle would be able to take the win with just enough weaponry thrown at him, enough of the and if he needs defense against, he has the force field. But at the end of it all, all the weapons, all the legs, all the angles, all the Spider-Man having no room, room to breathe, it's gonna end up and result with Blue Beetle for the win. Woo! All right. But, as always, it's not up to me. Nope. Not up to my boy. Nope. It's up to you guys. So, if you guys liked my boy's argument, you know what you can do? What you can hashtag, brother? Hashtag Spider-Man. All right. And if you guys liked my argument, you know what you can do? You can hashtag Blue Beetle. And as always, no press fan, we really appreciate you guys. Catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>